Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you all have seen from the thumbnail, I'll be creating two glamorous DIYs using these gems. I'm starting off by putting together a row of nine gems. I'm using my ruler to make sure they are straight as possible. Next, I'm using a tiny bit of glue to adhere them all together. Then I'm going to make multiple rows to finish off this piece. This is the top front piece and I like to use a small dab of glue so the glue don't clout my gems and this piece is very sturdy although I used very little glue. My top piece have nine rows and I'm going to go on ahead and make seven rows for my middle piece. This is the top front piece, top middle piece, and top bottom piece, and all these pieces over here are for the sides. I'm working on the top piece first, and all I'm doing is gluing the sides on. I'm still using that same method by using very little glue so the glue doesn't fade my gems. Once you're done putting the glue on, be sure to hold it in place until the glue dries. This is how the top piece is looking and I'm repeating the same exact steps for the middle and the bottom piece. I'm using a toothbrush to remove all the glue strings before I glue my piece together. I don't know if y'all can see, but the top piece and the middle piece is drooping in the middle a little bit. So I'm using extra gems to help hold them up. I glued three extra gems in total to the middle piece to help hold the top piece up. Be sure to hold your piece in place if you are going to recreate this and I suggest you use a stronger adhesive so your projects can last over time. I added three extra gems to the bottom as well. I'm using a foam board to help me hang my piece on the wall. This part was a bit complicated because it was very hard for me to reach in the inside, so I just did what I could. Y'all ready to see how I did? It looks like I did a bunch of nothing, but all I'm gonna do is retrace everything to make it in the shape of my piece. I completely forgot to connect the bottom and the top, but y'all will see me connect it in a second. I like to cut on one side, flip it over, cut on the other side, so that way it's easier for me to push it right out. The bottom piece was so small, so I was just able to draw a line right over. And for the top piece, I'm using my ruler to make a line straight across. I'm gluing one side down first, and then I'll do the other side because you can bend these without them coming apart.
This is what I have so far and it is very lightweight and sturdy. I'm using this 10 LED puck light that I purchased from Dollar Tree in the $5 plus owl. There is no adhesive backing on this puck light or anything like that. I can add a piece of tape to make it stick, but I'm just going to put it in just like this. I'm using these command strips that I purchased from Dollar General to hang my wall decor. This is the inspiration photo that I seen on Pinterest that inspired me to create this beautiful piece. Although my wall sconce isn't an exact match, I think it still turned out great. Comment your thoughts below, and if you like what you see, hit the like button. For my next project, I'm using that same foam board and this metal garden hook. So I'm just tracing it and now you guys see me attempting to make a 3DS, which did not turn out too good, but that's okay because it does not have to be perfect because it will not be showing. I'm placing gems on both sides of my S and then I'm going to adhere them all together. I'm using that same method by adding just a dab of glue and now I'm just going to move these to the side and make another set. Now I'm going to adhere the pieces to my foam board and I'm going to do one side at a time. You can do this in sections, just remember to hold your gems in place until the glue dries. For this second step, I'm adding gems to the middle so I can make it one big piece. I only glued the very top and bottom gems together because those were the gems that were touching. As you can see, there is a bunch of spacing throughout the middle. So I'm just going to add a few gems so I can make my piece more sturdy. This is the back piece and I'm going to leave this piece open right here so I can be able to fit my LED light in once I'm done. So for these outer gems right here, I'm going to glue about three or four more gems on top of some of the gems. So for this part, I'm just going to stack about four gems on top of one another for some of the gems. You guys see me placing one gem on top of the other gem and I'm making sure I skip over every two spaces. If you are going to recreate this, feel free to do it your way. I just thought that this way was the best way for me. As y'all can see, I did not go around the entire perimeter stacking the four gems just because it was simply not needed. Thank you. 
I'm just adding a clear piece of tape to keep my battery pack in place. I'm using some of this felt roll to cover up my battery pack to make it less visible. Now I'm gluing the top piece on and I'm making sure that I hold it in place until the glue dries. I'm also not putting glue around the entire perimeter. I'm just making sure that the very top, middle, and the very bottom is secured. I added more gems to the front to cover up all the gaps and what a beauty this is. Like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.